Well, good morning, good morning. Today we are coming to you from Supara Chungkurchak, and we are currently doing a luxury yurt stay, which is pretty nice because we've been doing a lot of outdoorsy stuff. So it's nice to kind of like pamper ourselves as yeah. the trip winds down. Basically, right at the end of our trip. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we're just relaxing here. We have amazing views of a mountain. Yes, mountains, forests. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and yeah, um, we've just been relaxing this morning, and mm -hmm. now it's time for breakfast. Yeah, and after breakfast, we'll be giving you a tour of the whole property. So stay tuned for that. So off to breakfast we go and we have a whole bunch of yurts here that we're walking past. We're staying in number five but they have so many. Look, more up there. Ta-da! So where are we headed Sam? We are heading to the mother station. Check out that. That's the mother yurt. The mother ship. The mother off ship. we go. It's so cool. Breakfast time. Breakfast, so I think I'm gonna grab some fruit. Lovely spread. Ooh, and nuts, first. jams. Well? Well, we had a bit of a buffet, so there was a wide selection, and I went for my favorite, big piece of bread. And here they have <clears throat> fresh churned Good cream. Good morning. <laughs> we have fresh churned cream. And then Kyrgyz honey, which is my oh, favorite. Oh, that's the best. It's so good. It has a bit of a floral taste, Maybe I it's, find. It's probably some of the best yeah. honey I've ever tasted. Like, it yeah. just has such a raw taste to it. Yeah, so this is what I start every morning. Bread, cream, honey. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that. Mm. Isn't that good? Mm-hmm. And over here, I'm just starting off with a salad plate and some fruit. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to move on to porridge and maybe a little bit of bread and maybe some cheese too. But definitely some of that cream and honey on that bread. Oh yeah. Good morning, good morning. So as you can see, I'm out on a bit of a solo mission this morning. I'm going to be hiking by myself. Audrey's back at the yurt doing a little bit of work. But man, it is just such a nice day outside that I couldn't stay in. I should be doing a little work myself, but I just decided to go out, do a little hike, and see if I can get some really awesome views of the mountains off in the distance. Early on into the hike, I've already got a couple of different path options. This one appears to lead more into the woods. This one appears to lead out into the sun, and it's already scorching hot. So we are going to go this way. This is my first peek out of the woods and I have to say already the views are looking really impressive. Now if I can only get to an even higher vantage point I should get a better view of the snow capped mountain. Time for another quick update here. And as you can see I've made it already a, a fair distance because those white little specks you see off in the distance that is the yurt we're staying in. And this is the part where the path is getting a little bit tricky simply because there isn't really much of one. It's sort of lightly defined, but I'm kind of just winging it to be perfectly honest. So this is perfect. This is exactly where I wanted to go in terms of flying the drone. And you can see as I'm zooming in here that if I fly it over the trees here, I should get a really nice view of the mountain. That is the plan, Stan. Well, that was an extremely successful hike and I would say drone flight. My main goal was to get the drone over that hill with a nice kind of tree and mountain reveal. And I think I was able to do just that. So mission accomplished. And finally. And finally, you've made it inside the earth. I had to change because it got so hot. Like seriously, yeah. summer is here. But anyways, you're inside the yurt. This is like the little entrance. You've got a place to put your keys, your bag. <laughs> you can hang up your jacket, you have a little shoe rack. They actually gave us umbrellas. I know. You know it's a fancy hotel and they provide an umbrella and this shoe thing that I don't even know how is, to use isn't it. That, I know it's is, is that called a, a, a shoe horn maybe? Or, or an owl or something like that? Owl? A shoe owl? Owl. Like owl. Like A-W-L. I, I could be totally wrong. Totally okay. wrong. Come on in. So we'll show you the bedroom next. Okay, I'm taking off my slippers. Shoes off. Shoes off. There we go. And first up, we've got a little wood burning stove, but there is no way we are turning this on. <laughs> we do not need this yeah. in July. If anything, we would be turning on this, the air AC. conditioner. Oh <laughs> yes. 
Okay. And they gave us a yurt that actually sleeps three people. So maybe like a couple and a child. Yeah. So I claimed this bed. Yeah. Oh, to my. <laughs> You took the big one. And Sam got the little kid back. Right, because that totally makes sense because you're you're not it's not like you're smaller than me, right? No, no. No, no, no. It's not like um, I'm the big guy. What else? And yeah, we've got like a little desk area where we've just thrown all of our computer stuff and camera gear. Yeah, a bunch of junk. And then there's some paintings and other things along here. Mm -hmm. Here's another one that's kind of cool. Very mm -hmm. very representative Kyrgyzstan here. We have the yurts, we have the mountains in the background, and of course, let's actually take a look up here. I know, that's the best part. Best part. This is where you can yeah. tell it's a yurt. Yeah, and everything is covered in felt, like the ceiling and the walls, and they also have cool felt designs with camels. Yeah. And last year, we actually attended a, a felt making workshop where we saw like how they work the wool and how they dye it and like turn it into cool shapes. Yeah. So yeah, it's been a really, really nice room. I slept so well last night. It's so dark in here. I just oh, the it. other thing we didn't show was that, okay, there's a lamp here. I thought we had a kettle somewhere. I moved the kettle. Oh, you did? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, was it there before or am I just imagining things? Yeah. So we'll take you to the next room now. It's a yeah. little brighter here. I call this the sauna room. It's seriously probably like 10 degrees <laughs> warmer than the bedroom. Yeah. Um, but it's kind of like a little living room slash office yes. slash kitchen here's area. Here's the kettle. I'm not a, I'm not going crazy. Yeah. Yeah, here's the kitchen. Um, a they, lot of kitchen, a fridge. Sorry, not the kitchen, fridge. the fridge. They have a few things you can purchase. Um, basically kumis. chocolates. Yes, they have kumis. This is the fermented mare's milk. Yes, you can get that. This is basically the list of all the items and the prices yeah. in Psalm. Oh. And it would be nuts, absolutely nuts, if I didn't show you guys the views from here. I know, the views are amazing. Absolutely incredible. We have floor to ceiling windows and you can see the mountains and yeah. the forest. It's a little overcast. Earlier in the morning it was, man, the, the views were a lot more spectacular, but it's still incredible. Yeah. And, oh, we, you know what we didn't show? What? We didn't show the bathroom. Oh, the bathroom. Yes, okay. the bathroom. Come along. But I really like this room. I spent the whole morning in here just like working on my laptop. Yeah. And looking at the mountains. Exactly. Okay, bathroom. Bathroom. We have a sliding door. And I just love their doors. Like they use tree branches to have like handles. Which is yeah. Awesome. So I'm going to let you go in first since it's a small bathroom. It is pretty small. But it has everything. Blue has a hair dryer. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess that's what it's called too. And then there's a sink, and the toilet, the rack, and then one of these types of showers that opens each from the side. And then here's the shower head. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. This is the, I think this is the first yurt where we've had our own private bathroom. So I know this is a fancy yurt. That's how you know it's a luxury yeah, yurt. Yeah, like all the other <laughs> yurts we've slept in, the toilet was an outhouse, and you had to like walk there. You know, like right. a few meters in the dark with a flashlight like where's the toilet none of that in here we are no. this is like a glamping yard or something yeah, yeah. <laughs> Into the forest we go. Sam was already wandering around here in the morning with his yeah, drone. That's right. He must fly the drone. Must fly the drone. This is a little bit of a different area from where I actually flew the drone. I came here first in the morning, but it was a little bit muddy, so I went into yeah. a different route. But it should be great this time of day. So we've been doing our own independent walk, but here on the property they actually offer guided walks and you can also rent a horse and do a horse trek. And actually, the one thing that we turned down, you can drink kumus, mare's milk, fermented mare's milk, not just once a day, but I think like three or five times a day. Like they have this yeah. program where you just drink that during it's your whole stay. It's supposedly a health program apparently. Supposedly a health program, but honestly, I don't love the taste. It's a little bit like salty and sour. <laughs> so we said, no thank you, we we'll hike instead. We politely declined. Politely declined. 